Hey there, this is Adam Lane from Pocketnow.com, and I'm going to show you something new about Windows Phone 8. Let's check it out. Alright, in this video we're going to take a look at Internet Explorer, uh, Email, the Company Hub, and Messenger on Windows Phone 8. So right now I'm in Internet Explorer 10, and we're running an HTML5 test, and we're getting what? around 60 frames per second on the fish uh, animation. I can go back and we can try another one. And you can see how smooth this is. So let's look at uh, some of the new options. We have customization options. We can go to settings. We can do obviously mobile version or desktop version as the priority. And we can choose what the button uh, next to the address bar is going to do. So you can choose tabs, stop, refresh, or favorites. So I'm going to choose tabs. And there you see my tabs button and it shows the number of tabs that are open. So I really like that being able to quickly switch to a, a different tab. And you can see uh, scrolling sometimes goes blank a little bit. Let's try that. Maybe it wasn't finished loading. There we go. See, we get a little bit of performance issues. But pinch zooming very, very quick. Now, say you're looking at this page and then you get home and you want to kind of view it on a larger screen. I'm going to hit the menu and I'm going to hit share page. Now I have Xbox. So from there, I can just send this web page to the Xbox, you know, connected to a large uh, screen, and there we go. You can also uh, do NFC transfers. Of course, there's email, messaging, and social networks. And you get the usual uh, sharing page. So now let's look at some emails. Here's my uh, email live tile here. You can see a preview of uh, one of the new messages. And from here, we see it conforms to the theme now. I can choose not to do that if I want. I can use a light background. And when I read them, it oddly goes back to a white background anyway. And multiple languages work just fine. But here's a cool new feature. If I'm in the uh, body of an email, I have a speech button. How are you doing? Uh, what's new? How are you doing with sniff? What's new? <laughs> Voice recognition, not always perfect, but there you go, it's there. Next up, let's look at a sample company hub. Now, Microsoft sent this to us as reviewers to uh, try out, as well as so that they could send us some pre-release apps without having to publish them in the marketplace. So that's a pretty cool way to uh, share company apps that you really don't want to be public um, and here is a fake company hub that Microsoft made for us. And uh, there's our app listing. I can just tap to install whichever ones I want. See, most of them are installed already. It's just a sample of uh, you know what kind of company hub uh, somebody might want to put together. There's some news. There's some alerts. None of that is real, but you can see how it works. So that's a pretty neat feature. A lot of uh, businesses are probably going to like that. And uh, lastly, let's look at the messaging. There's a couple little updates. Uh, we still have the Facebook and Windows Live Messenger chat fully integrated. And we can also uh, now attach some new things. So here's our attachments. I can do picture and video, just like Tango. But now I can do my location. 
So that's going to add a map. And uh, when people get it, they'll get a link to a little web page uh, with the location showing. You can also attach contacts now. So if you want to send somebody uh, contact information. So there you have a quick look at Internet Explorer, uh, the email program, a company hub sample, and uh, the new messenger on Windows Phone 8. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and that's it for now.